Um, today I'm going to show you a few things I got over the weekend and um, I have completely no makeup on my face and even have my glasses on because I just woke up and I was going to do this um, before I went to bed for you guys but I didn't get around to it. I was pretty tired this morning so um, this weekend I went to Michael's uh, mostly to get um, table decoration ideas for my upcoming wedding and it's 11 months out but mom's kind of wanting to get some ideas and whatnot so we we think we got a few ideas so of course in michael's i had to check out the low cornell brushes as well as the wonderful sephora inspired brush holders everyone's been doing so i made mine and here it is and i'll also put a picture up of the one my mom did hers um i got a square one and hers is actually rectangular and she put some of the um, aqua, the little glass beads that are flat on one side. She put those in the bottom of hers and then put the color fill on top of it instead of doing the cute little ribbon like I did. And um, this jar I paid $9.99 and then the bag of color fill, which this one here is not quite full because I kind of over, I used two and kind of, I did a little too much in my little cube you could use just one bag but it has a little thing like this on it and this is $5.99 and then I got my two ribbons this spool here was $3.99 and then I got the little red bobbin ribbon which was $0.99 cents. so it's pretty good and uh, I got a bunch of new stuff in here and We'll start off with I got the half inch Maxine mop and this was $4.99. I got the 3 8 Maxine mop which was $3.99 and it's supposed to be similar to the MAC 239 brush. You can tell that one's dirty. But you know they're similar in shape. This is really a soft, I really really soft brush. Really great bargain for $3.99. I can't believe I don't understand what a painter would use it for but whatever. Then I also got the quarter inch, which was $3.29. It is dirty as well. And I then I got a 3/16 detail mop. It's a little long, but I think it'll be good, you know, for some smudging and some eyeliner stuff. And this was $2.49. And I also went to Sally's, or Sally Beauty Supply, and I got the famous concealer, Face Secrets Concealer Liner Brush that Becky, aka Sparkle Vixen, recommends. Um, it's oval on the end. I don't know if you can, you probably can't see that, but really a great brush. Kind of reminds me a lot of the um, pointed end of the Bare Essentials Rock and Roll brush. And I also picked up the, I find it here, the smudge brush, which is pretty similar to that detail mop. Kind of, it's a little pointier, but kind of the same concept there. And I also got some, and those each were $3.99. Yes. And then for $2.99, I got some disposable mascara wands. So if I'm doing my friend's makeup, I can just use one tube that I don't personally use and use these in it. And then I got a bargain. My mom actually bought this for me. But one of these cool tweezer man glass files and this was regularly $14.99 on sale for $9.99 reduced to $5.99 awesome so I'm really excited to use that um, and then today in the mail I got my Bare Minerals Face Fashion The Look of Now Wild Spirit Kit and there's the box it's in a little plastic sleeve and you open it up and I've taken the the product out but you can just get a an idea here and here's on how to do it which I will do this in the morning I promise absolutely promise that I'll do this in the morning and then also now included in this first one I've seen um, a little pamphlet which apparently I think it's I don't know, there's Spanish on here and two, uh, three other languages. Whatever. I don't need it. I don't want it. Anyways, 
But what this includes is metallic lavender eye color. Make sure I get these right. Yes. It's a really pretty purpley gray color with a little bit of sparkle in it. And there is the plush purple eye color. It's a rather plummy color. Pretty though. I have pictures two of these and then the smoky sequence the liner shadow which is a, more of a grape color see that there? really pretty I don't think that's focusing but and then the vintage peach blush blush which I absolutely love this color and then the Jessica Buxom and it's a pinky goldy reflective color there's a little a white thing on the end of these now and if you got the Perfect 10 collection from QVC with Xena in it, um, this is the same new style too, but I've noticed it's a little wider in the color area and the opening is a whole lot bigger. About spilt my dang eye colors. See that there. So, um, put those pictures up at the end here and I just wanted to let you know what I got this weekend and show you the new base fashion kit which I absolutely love because as I've said before I love purple <laughs> and um, then again my Sephora Insight inspired brush holder with all my dirty brushes in there I have I probably need like six of these for all my brushes but anyways I'll keep the most used ones up here in here um, if you have any questions let me know I promise I will do this look in the morning. I'm really excited about it. I thought I was gonna I thought about doing it tonight, but it is a quarter till eight and I usually leave for work at ten, so not not quite gonna do that tonight. So anyways, uh, stay tuned in the morning for um, a look on that. It should be up around noon central time, if not a little bit before then. Usually I get them done approximately 9 o'clock or so, and then once I edit and upload, it takes about three hours. So, anyways, I hope you enjoy my new goodies. Like I said, if you have any questions, let me know, and I'll see you later.